All right, welcome back to the Global Mantics Annual Report Team site. We're going to start now working with lists. And lists are just that. They are lists of different types of things. They can be lists of just about whatever you want. Now SharePoint comes with some standard list containers already. And when we look at our quick launch, we see two of them right here for calendar and tasks. But what I want to do is go to the all site content and show you here that we have a whole section devoted to lists and these four announcements calendar links and tasks are the ones that come with SharePoint right out of the box with our team site these are the most popular ones the ones that seem to be the ones that people use the most I could also go ahead and click simply up here on the heading on my quick launch for lists and it'll narrow that down to again just our list containers and we want to add new list items to these so I'm gonna click here on announcements we're gonna start there and what we notice first is yes look at that we already have a list of announcements now I'll be honest I added all of these announcements this morning but as you go along and continue to add announcements over time the list will continue to get bigger and bigger and you'll have more and more things you see here the time and date that I added these items to our list these announcements let's go ahead let's take a look at one let's say uh, let's look at the third quarter one and we see that it is third quarter the third quarter of the year is nearly complete and all documentation must be in the team SharePoint site libraries by October the 15th so it's just an announcement so if you're on your SharePoint and you want to see hey what's going on what's new what's what are the big announcements you simply have to go click on lists and announcements you can also go ahead and add this to your quick launch toolbar so you don't have to go through that extra step of either going to the all site content or the lists you can add it here just like we have calendars and tasks and if you didn't watch my lesson on SharePoint site settings go ahead and check that out because in there I go through a lot of information and I will show you how to customize that quick launch so that you can add those announcements to that lists section now down here underneath our list we see add new announcement let's click there and look at that it's pretty simple we just simply have to add the title and the body of our announcement whatever it might be well give me a second here and I'm gonna add one in I'll be right back okay and you see that my announcement is going to be a time change for our meeting next Monday's team meeting has been changed from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. due to system testing I can put an expiration date on this item and being that the change is going to happen next Monday I can probably have it expire next Tuesday and I can even go ahead in here and you'll see that I have some editing tools I can change things like the alignment I can add bullet points change the font the size let's make it a little bigger what the heck color things like that then go ahead and I will save that announcement and we see here that meeting time change and when I click on it just like we saw before and if I wanted to edit the item I can do that and get right back there to my editing options but there is my new list item my new announcement now if I go ahead and I hover my mouse over my meeting time change announcement you'll see over here to the right you see the little drop down that gives me the option again to view the item to edit the item and also delete this item if I so choose and up here at the top of my header you'll see I have my list tools and I can choose items and from this option I will get the ability to create new items now right now all the rest of these are grayed out because I don't have an item selected but if I select the meeting time change notice that I now can have options to view the item to edit the item again to delete it and I can even attach a file to this item and as far as the list button goes we will take a look at some of these in another lesson alright let's go back here and in fact let's go back to our lists let's go ahead and take a look at our calendar list and it's just that it's simply a calendar it shows us how we can go ahead and have the list 
of our events and the only things we have in there right now is our weekly annual report team meeting at 10 a.m. and we want to add something new so uh, it's going to be in October so I can either click on October here on this calendar on the upper left corner or I can use the arrows here on top of my calendar and go forward that way and I'm going to add another meeting let's add one here to Friday the 21st and you see when I hover my mouse over that date there it is, the Add button. I can click there, and it allows me to add a new item. All right, give me a minute while I put this in. Now I can go ahead. I've got my the start of this here. I put in a time, where, the date. I selected the category. It is a meeting. Now I can also go ahead and specify my own value if I need to, but meeting is fine. That's what it is. I can choose to make this an all-day event. Now this was just a one-hour meeting, so it was fine setting that here. I can also make this a repeating event and that's what we did when we set our weekly meeting for Monday mornings I simply click on this and see it allows me to make this a repeating event It can repeat daily weekly monthly yearly every day every weekday start date and a range uh, it can end after so many occurrences no end date or end by whatever I need now this is not going to be a repeating event so I'm going to uncheck that and simply save it and there we have the financial team meeting now I also need to edit one of these so I'm going to select this one if you remember our announcement from just a few minutes ago we changed the time of this meeting from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. so we're gonna click on that and choose edit item here now I also have the button to edit the series because remember this is what we just talked about this was a series this was a recurring event if I click on edit series it would change every event in the series but I'm only changing this one so I simply need to click on edit item and I can go and very easily change that just like that I also have new view edit and delete there that way as well and those are our calendar lists now let's go ahead and Go back to our lists and take a look at links. And links are just what you think they are. They are links to other websites, links to places on our SharePoint server, other internal sites, external sites. We have a number of them listed here. And if I click on one, you can see it's spinning around up here. It's going to take me right to that external website. I can add notes. I can, here we go. When I hover over that item, I get the little drop down, and the same as we saw with our others view item, edit item, or delete item. Let's go ahead and view it. And I can edit it. I can add a new link here, like this, give it a description and I can add notes if I need to but I think the website for the SEC says it all and I can save it and there is my new link I can edit it by clicking the edit button here and notice I also have the ability to test out that link before I go ahead and save it it's by simply clicking here to test looks like it works to me and that's our links list and again I can go here and add a new item if I select one view it edit it and delete it change their order and this is just like we saw with our quick launch maybe I want to have the SEC link first let's go one more time to our lists and look at the last one tasks now we already have a task that has been added to this and I can click on it to view it and I see that it has been completed it was finished on August 1st it started on July 14th I can edit this item delete it just the same way as what we've seen before I can add a new task I added the title now I want you to see this predecessors this is the last 
task that was on here. And if this is something that has to happen before we can do this, we can add this to the list here. But it isn't. This has no relationship to this, so that's fine. We can just leave it the way it is. Priority, we're going to change this priority to high. Status, it has not yet been started. Assigned to, we can give it a person. We're going to say, you know what, we're going to let Leon Mallory do this. And it is uploaded to third quarter financial documents into our shared documents library. Starting on, well, of course, it'll have to be after the third quarter is completed. So we'll say that he can start this on the 10th of October, but it needs to be finished by the 14th. Save that. And there we have it. And we see the status is not yet started. It is high priority, the due date. And if we go ahead throughout the task and add in a percentage that is complete, that will show up here. And any predecessors that we have would also be here. So again, very, very much like what we've seen already. I also have a little drop down like we talked about before for new items. And if I click over here, I can create a new item. I can select a new item and view it, edit it, and delete it. And also attach a file to it, just like we saw with announcements. And those are our standard lists.